Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is the annual Global Innovation Motor Race in Miami, Florida. After analyzing the data from Reynard's computer, the case is clear. The Providence defectors are Robert and Sierra Knox, head of robotics developer Kronstadt Industries. A visionary inventor and technological innovator, Robert Knox has spearheaded Kronstadt Industries to the bleeding edge of technological development. His equally brilliant daughter, Sierra, is not only a financial wizard, but also a fiercely competitive race car driver with a fiery temper to match. Kronstadt enjoys enormous popularity with global consumers. However, few are aware that the company is also one of the world's leading suppliers of next-gen military tech. Last year, despotic ruler Jin Po employed prototype Kronstadt drones against peaceful civilian protesters in the now infamous Tungyan Valley incident. And although it has yet to be proven, there is little doubt that the Noxes personally brokered the deal, making them complicit in a war crime. It is unclear why the Noxes would betray their masters, but likely the fear of being next on the Shadow Client's hit list has pressured them to cut a deal with the enemy. Undoubtedly, with Kronstadt Industries on their side, the militia will increase their attacks tenfold, and so our contract obligates us to retire Robert and Sierra Knox and contain the damage they may inflict on Providence. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Miami, 47. The innovation race is on its last day, and it is down to the wire. Thousands of eager fans are gathered for the final laps of this unexpectedly close race. Sierra Knox is expertly piloting her red Kronstadt car. Her father, Robert Knox, roams the nearby expo building where Kronstadt is showcasing its new prototype car. The Kronstadt RK Mark III has seen fierce competition from the Chinese Kowloon Heavy Industries' new racer. Moses Lee, CEO of Kowloon, has taken a dominant lead and looks invincible. Sierra Knox will need to risk it all if she wants to win for the third year in a row. The stakes are as high as they can get.
That is Ted Mendez, one of the country's most influential military-grade money men. This must be connected to Kronstadt. Phil, it's Ted here. Just returning your call before heading over to the Expo building to meet Knox for the new combat android presentation. No, not yet. I'm letting him stew a little. The guy's a genius, and you know what they're like. Desperately lacking any discipline or respect for other people. Last time I tried to have a meeting with him, he had me sitting in a room for four hours before canceling. I'll head up when I feel like it. All right, I'll call you after the presentation. Speak then. Ted Mendez, a defense funding consultant with the U.S. military, is scheduled for a private demonstration of a new Kronstadt robotics project. Sounds like a way to get up close and personal with Robert Knox, 47. Lovely day. Mr. Mendez, good to see you, sir. The demonstration is scheduled to take place on the upper floors. Please feel free to use the stairs right over the... Hello, sir. show you everything. I'm going to say something provocative now, Ted. War is going out of fashion. It's dirty. It's just plain bad PR. Nobody wants to exchange their children and loved ones for flags and medals anymore. The glory is gone, Ted. But luckily, Kronstadt has a solution for that. Imagine this. Android infiltrators operating in the field, disguised and fully embedded, ready to strike at a moment's notice. Indestructible robotic operators who can infiltrate the deepest sanctuary of any adversary, striking an unseen fatal blow, a surgical tool for a blunt world. Imagine an army of them, fully equipped android medics, seeking out wounded servicemen and injured civilians, bringing them to safety or patching them up then and there, Android pilots delivering payloads deep inside enemy territory with uncanny precision 
and minimal collateral damage. All right, Mendez, it's very straightforward. Let me show you. I just pick any of the pictures on the desk, then I use the scanner to upload the biometric data, and Palace will do the rest. Target acquired. Don't get paid. Obviously, the final system won't rely on you manually feeding it biometric data. This is still a prototype. This is a pivotal moment in modern conflict solution, Ted. Palace is entirely foolproof. All you need is to pick a photo from the table and scan it just like I showed you. Don't you? It's perfectly safe. Go ahead. My dad. Target acquired. Don't get beat. Well, how's that for impressive? Amazing, I know. And just think how much more we can accomplish together. My brains, your money. The sky's the limit here, my friend. Hmm. I don't know. Sir, get out, my Maybe I'm old-fashioned. I still prefer the human touch. You're part of an old institution and you prefer the traditional approach. I respect that. But like it or not, this is the future you're looking at. Autonomous synthetic systems will entirely remove human agents from direct engagement. I guarantee this thing will absolutely murder anything you put it up against. Sounds promising. So, Mr. Mendez, impressive so far, yeah? Let me quickly show you our on-site robotics lab. It's small, but state-of-the-art, and it's fully mobile, so you can deploy it anywhere. What's up? So, as part of the deal, Kronstadt will throw in one deployment cell per five units. Outfitted to enable on-site adjustments and calibrations, it'll be shipped in a bulletproof shell and can be dropped anywhere on the planet using the Kronstadt T-37 deployment drones. So if you have any questions or want to see anything again, just let me or McKinnis know. I'll let you hang out and look at everything for yourself. Hey, don't be a stranger, Ted. scale field test of Palace in a few months. Huh. That sounds like one of those entirely unfounded rumors that get spread around down at the local bar after work. A palace is in a state to be field tested on any scale. Well, large amounts of these conversations and requests reach out to you. I'd like to see the demonstration again, please. You'll have to wait a little while, Mr. Mendez. We're just recalibrating the equipment.
wise, it's miles above anything I've seen pitched before. Not even the Chinese have anything as promising. I don't know. I think it's a little too ambitious. Collecting pictures of celebrity entrepreneurs now, 47? Hmm. What are you thinking? Discretion. Target acquired. Dummy me. Well done, Palace. All green. I have to say. I'm, I'm ready for another demonstration, please. Excellent. But let me just call Mr. Knox and bring him down here. Uh, Robert, it's Derek again. The race is entering its is final lap, 47. 47. ASAP. Ted, let me give you the rundown again. All right, I think we can skip the intro part. You know why we're building this, Ted. We're building the ultimate infiltration unit. Human-looking, driven by the best AI Kronstadt has ever built. A unit capable of full environmental immersion, ready to strike at a moment's notice. Palace is equipped with extremely advanced facial recognition systems capable of complex skin texture analysis. Ultrasonic 3D information capture ensures the right targets are taken down every time. It's so good. I'm willing to stake my. We're ready, Mendez. Holy shit. Knox. Aw, oh, crap. <laughs> Robert Knox down. Now for the heir to the Kronstadt Empire. 47. The race is over. Sierra will be coming off the track any time now.
I'm getting information that we're closer to the ceremony, but not quite there yet. Great, but we need more security. You cannot enter these premises. somehow screw up the revitalization procedure on Miss Knox. I know it's just a simple injection, but given his track record these past few days... Well, at least we know who's... So, it seems Sierra Knox has jumped on the revitalization bandwagon and is scheduled for an injection of some sort. The doctor who is supposed to help her with the procedure is preoccupied with a patient who is unable to urinate. Curious situation, 47. Maybe you can speed things up. Buying us beer tonight. Ain't that the truth? Hey there, big guy. Listen to that. The waiting time is almost over and the crowd is going nuts down here in Miami. This is a race that will go down hey, in history. Stay safe. Unforgettable drama. What more could anyone possibly want? Let's hear it for our champion and let's get the party started. So did Dr. Sorensen manage to get Sierra Knox's phone number? I heard him arguing with that Kronstadt lawyer earlier. No, didn't have any luck. Once he's done with that other driver, he'll just have to use the intercom. Folks. And don't forget to get your Sierra Knox t-shirt at the exit. Buy one, get one free. Oh, that's right. You heard me. Buy one, get one. Ladies and gentlemen, this year's innovation race is now over. And it's well, time folks, to end the, the main event is now finished. The fun has not. It has been a tremendous
Holy shit! Sierra Knox should be on her way to the emergency area. Miss Knox, I'm ready for you. Let's do this. All right, Doug. Where'd you want me? Miss Knox, oh, come on in. That guy. Have a seat. And they relax. say these medics are so all what's on the menu. Something that'll take care of this hideous pain in my neck, I hope. I promise. Once oh, I'm done, you, just get you won't away from me? Have you never heard of personal space? So what's in this thing anyway, Doug? Mostly floral extracts, hemlock, belladonna, aconite. It's designed to be fast and efficient. Fast and efficient. I like that. Wait. Belladonna? Isn't that poisonous? Yes. Should I be concerned? I'm not. 
Just relax. It'll be over soon. Hmm? Huh? I'm not. Just relax. It'll be over soon. Beautiful. Let's go, Doc. I'm a busy lady. Hey, Doc. Hope we don't need you today, huh? Hey, you know what? I do feel refreshed. Thanks, Doc. My pleasure. Uh, I... I don't feel... I don't feel well, Doctor. Don't worry. It'll be over soon, Miss Knox. Both targets down. Well done, 47. Head for an exit, and we'll speak again soon. We need to fight the sickness, not the symptom. And I have just the tool for the job. Right. The Burnwood woman. Eric Soders warned you about her, didn't he? The Crusader. I can handle Miss Burnwood. Everyone hates power until you offer them some. And you ought to know. ICA speaks the enemy's language. We need them. Once we don't. <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Fact remains, we are shadow boxing. We need to know who we are up against. I was getting to that. His name is Lucas Gray, the late Mr. Cobb's head of security. Cobb was ground zero. First of our operatives to die. It had to be one of his staff, someone with military training and access to the plane. Ah, grasping at straws. Gray is a mercenary, a veteran of every backwater tragedy you've ever ignored on the five o'clock news. Chechnya, Sierra Leone, the list goes on, but before 89, nothing. 
no records of any kind. Now, oh, come on. CIA, KGB, plenty of spies went dark. After the curtain was lifted, I cast a very wide net. Lucas Gray simply does not exist. <clears throat> if you're all quite done wetting yourselves with excitement, I couldn't give two shits where he came from. I only want to know one thing. How does he know about us? I swear to God, this hearts and flowers crap will get us both killed. Can't you see? Your so-called friend is working for them now. He's not the man you knew. This is his fight too, Olivia. Even if he doesn't realize it. Like it or not, 47 is our last and only lead on the partners. He needs to remember. He's coming for us. And unlike you, he won't hesitate. Just get me inside. Rico, I need a favor. <laughs>